I want to talk to you about something that I think is really, really, really important. And they call it mental health. But I'll tell you something, people don't like the word mental health, it kind of scares them. So I like to use the word mental hydration. Let me tell you why. Physical health, hey man, I'm gonna get in shape, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna be good. Well, mental health, I think is, hey man, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do good, I'm gonna feel good. But physical health, I think is in the body, I think mental health is in the mind. And so I like to call mental hydration, kind of like with physical health, you drink water, you hydrate the body. Mental health, mental hydration, you're hydrating the mind. That makes sense, right? So I've been speaking to young people, not elementary. I don't do elementary often. But sometimes I'll come to a community like this and they might say, hey Jeff, could you, could you talk to our elementary too? I'm like, okay, but I'm nervous. I, I can speak to a high school audience. I can just wake up and go talk to them. I love them. But speaking to young people, I'm, I'm sorry, my friend, I just get nervous. And I think part of it is, I, I want to be real. I, I want to be, I, I never like to speak at you. That's, that's why I'm not up here. I, I like to speak with you, like friend to friend. But I mean, I, I'm, I'm not your friend. I could be like your grandpa. Like, you can call me Papa. But I still, I still feel that if I can speak with you, you're going to get more of what I'm saying, rather than if I'm like, lecturing or talking down to you. I never want to do that. So mental hydration. Let me ask you a question. How many of you feel happy? Raise your hands. All right, all right, all right. Hands down. How many of you maybe in the past week, in the past week or so, how many of you have felt sad? All right. All right, you can put your hands down. Hey, I want to thank you. Let me tell you why. Because I just asked you a question about happy and sad, and you were honest. Not just honest with me, but what's more important is you were honest with yourself. Many people, many people are afraid to talk about their thoughts and their feelings. It is okay to talk about your thoughts and your feelings. It's okay. You know what else is okay? It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. But then I'm gonna say this and I don't wanna to be too hard on you. When you're not feeling okay, I'm gonna say this. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing? You don't wanna do nothing. You don't wanna ignore it. Because when you're not feeling okay, and you don't do anything, you continue to go through day after day, week after week, month after month, not feeling okay. Who said nothing? It's okay, raise your hand. You said it? I got a prize for you. Where are you at, brother? Nothing. Hey, thank you for being honest and speaking up. It's always okay to speak up. You know why? That's called like, it, this is a big word, advocating for yourself. If you don't know something, it's okay to ask a question. And I like that he just spoke up. He said, nothing. You want to know why? Because he just demonstrated that if I'm not feeling good, maybe I'd be told that you'd be tough, you'd, you'd be strong, and you grind through. You, you, you don't talk about it. Because a lot of people say that. But I think if you're not feeling good, you want to tell someone. Because it's okay to not be okay, but I'm going to tell you, what are you going to do about it? I have a caseload at home when I'm not speaking. One of the people, the family that's on my caseload is a former NBA player, Hall of Fame player, one of the top 100 in the world. I work with the family. I do a lot with mental hydration. I do a lot with people that struggle with addiction, maybe alcohol or something. And what I'm telling you today is what I tell people on my caseload. You wanna know why? Because when I'm talking to people that are overcoming an addiction, we call that they're in recovery. I think all of us should be in recovery every day. You wanna know why? 
because recovery is about doing the little things that we ought to do every day. Recovery is about doing the simple things. And so these people that get stuck and have to go to treatment and they come out of treatment, they go back to the very basics, the fundamentals, and that helps them to stay in recovery. So I think it's important that we always try and keep it simple. So number one, we're feeling good, right? But sometimes we're feeling a little sad. And it's okay to be sad. But if being sad starts to be day after day after day, then you have to have the courage to go maybe talk to a teacher. Maybe go talk to one of your counselors or your social worker and say, um, I, and remember, adults are not the enemy. We can't help you if we don't know you need help. And so our mental hydration affects our grades. It affects our relationships with people, our friendships. Mental hydration affects how we feel every day. That makes sense, right? So I want to share with you, when I speak to high schools and colleges and universities or, or corporate or mental health professionals, a lot of people have this question. Hey, Jeff, man, if you could talk to young people, you can give them one thing, just one thing, what would that one thing be? You know what I say? Self-esteem. What does self-esteem mean? Yeah. Self-esteem means when you're mad. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get some more candy. These kids love candy. They call me the candy man. I am the candy man. All right, all right, all right. Well, man, man. Hey, you can have, you, you give one to a friend. That's very sweet. You know something? When you give to other people, it makes you feel good. That's right. High five. Bam, chest bump, awkward. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Where's my friend? Who said it? It makes you feel mad. Self-esteem what? Give me, yeah, young lady, pretty lady right there. Um, self-esteem is like courage, how you feel. Yeah, hey man. Self-esteem is your courage, it's how you feel, right? Inside, but it, 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 how you feel inside is how that expresses outside, right? We're going to talk about the high five. Chest bump. No. Oh. All right. Hands down. All right. So I think self-esteem. I think you're right. Self-esteem is good. Self-esteem could be not so good. Self-esteem is I'm happy. Self-esteem is I'm sad. And when I'm sad, I want to do something about it. But when I'm happy, I want to continue to do something about it. So I want to share with you purpose in life. I want to talk about purpose. I want to talk about what? Purpose. That's right. Here's your purpose in life. From where you are to I don't care how old you get. This is what you do. You wake up, you get up, and you dress up. And when you dress up, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. Makes sense, right? And in order to do good, that means, hey man, I just showed up. And when you show up every day, I want you to do the best you can. A lot of people show up and that's where they fail. We show up and I'm, I'm afraid. We show up and, and I don't want to ask questions. We show up and, and we're anxious, we're scared. We show up and we compare ourselves to other people. I don't ever want you to do that. I want you to show up every day. I want you to feel good. And when you feel good, you do good, right? And when you feel good inside, what I want you to do is I want you to help other people feel the same way. Makes sense, right? Yeah. When we don't feel good, we, we put people down. When we don't feel good, we could be mean to people. I don't like people that are mean to people. I don't like people that are mean to people. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you. A situation happens, whatever situation it might be. That situation always affects your thoughts. Thoughts affect how you feel. How you feel 
is how you act every day. That, does that make sense? Yeah. So why am I talking about thoughts? Because thoughts come from situations. So every morning, I want you to create the situation. And the situation is this. You're going to wake up. You have a path. You can go, ugh. Another day I got to go to school. This is going to be a dumb day. How many of you feel that way sometimes? All right, all right, all right. Hands down. Or you can go this way. I wake up, I'm going to make it a good day. I'm going to make it a good day. How many of you sometimes feel that way? All right, all right, all right. Hands down. And then you got, there's an actor. His name is Matthew McConaughey. How many of you know him? Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Hands down. You know what he says every day? He says, all right, all right, all right. And so I took that from him. You wonder why? Because I watched him say it, and, and I like how he says it. And so I started like, all right, all right, all right. And you know what I noticed? When I would say it, I'm like, yeah, I feel good. And so when I wake up in the morning, I, I get out of bed, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I go to the bathroom, I look in the mirror, that <laughs> day. I just look in the mirror and I feel good. You want to know why? Because I look good. <laughs> now, how many got just yet and I look good? But you know what? I'm, again, I'm 50 years old. And so, 50 years old, ain't nobody comes to me and says, hey, you look good. <laughs> so, I, you got to tell yourself. And many young people, we want to be like, I call it validated. What that means is we want people to tell us, uh, you're smart, and you're capable, and you're strong. And so when I talk about self-esteem, if you've never had someone tell you, I'm going to tell you right now. Here's what I say to myself, even at my age. I'm smart. I'm strong. I'm capable. And I can handle anything that comes my way. I'm smart. I'm strong. I'm capable, and I can handle anything that comes my way. Repeat after me, my friends. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm capable. I'm capable. And I can handle anything that comes my way. I can handle anything that comes my way. And then, all right, all right, all right. I want you to start doing that every single day. When you have a break and the teacher says, all right, boys and girls, if you need to get some water, go to the bathroom, I want you to say, all right, all right, all right. Because when you do that, I think it has two effects. When you don't want to do something, and I wrote a book on this, I call it, boom, boom, I'm going to do it. And after you do it, the effect, boom, I did it. But now, let's, let's use some Matthew McConaughey. You don't want to do it? All right, all right, all right. I got to go do it. Say that. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. And then the effect afterwards, you did it, you feel good. You're like, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, young lady, there you go. I like how you said <laughs> Thoughts, what you think, determines what you feel. What you feel determines how you behave, your actions. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So if a teacher or a parent might say something, it's because something starts with your thoughts, the situation or whatever happened. And when someone says something to you, you have an opportunity to listen and accept it. That's called a growth mindset. That's called I'm learning. Or you can get upset about somebody saying something to you. I don't want you to get upset. You want to know why? Because somebody's saying something to you, and they just want you to do better. I just want every day you to do better. I don't care, like, you take tests, right? Yeah. I never did, I, I learned differently. I always, I, I never did well on tests. But you know some, my friends, I don't care how you do on tests. I, I don't care if you get hundreds. I don't care if, if, if you get average. You know what I care about? 
Your purpose is this, remember. Wake up, wake up. Get up. Dress up. When you dress up, you feel good. When you feel good, you are looking good. When you're looking good, you're feeling good, you show up. Now, here's the key. When you show up, I just want you to do the best you can. All right, who said that? Hey, my friend. Why you just, I said, I said when, you, when you do the best you can, he said, all right, all right, all right. He's got it. All right, hey, hey, hey brother, that's right. All right, yeah, yeah, all right. You guys are good. I want to ask you an honest question. I want you to be honest with me. How many of you show up every day and do the best you can? Me. Me. How many of you are raising your hand because you want candy? <laughs> Hands down. Here's an honest question. How many of you show up every day and you don't do the best you can? Wow. Hands down. Hey, I want to, hands down, I want to thank you for being honest. I think there's nothing more important than you being honest. Not just honest with people, but you're being honest with yourself. Because I think that's where it starts. Every morning I'm 50 years old, you know what I do? I wake up, I look in the mirror. All right, all right, all right. You know what I tell high school students? You guys aren't going to get rid of it. No, seriously, I tell high school students, I'm, man, I, man, I love you guys. You guys having fun? Yeah! <laughs> all right, all right. I'm so nervous to talk to you, but I'm, I'm having fun. We're going to have fun. When I talk to high school students, and, and this, is, this is a lot for you, if something isn't right in your life, if you're feeling sad, even if you're feeling good, you get up and you look in the mirror, and here's, here's what you do. You look in the mirror and you ask yourself a question. What role am I playing in my life being the way it is? Is my life going good? Well, what am I doing to make it good? You know, I wake up, I dress, I do those little things. If my life isn't going good, if, if I feel that I'm, I'm not smart or I'm not strong or I'm not capable, I want to, what role am I playing in this? And a lot of times, you're going to be able to look in the mirror and say, <laughs> if life isn't going well, sometimes you look in the mirror and you realize that you're not showing up every day. You're not doing the best you can every day. And I'll tell you, if you have negative thoughts, bad thoughts, then you're going to feel like, I'm not that smart. I did my whole time in school. I, I never thought I was as smart as you. And you start thinking, I'm, I'm not as capable. I'm not very strong. I don't want you to ever have those feelings. I want every single day you to wake up and repeat those words. I'm strong. I'm, strong. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm capable. I'm capable. And I look good. All right, all right, all right. And here's what happened. You, your day hasn't even started, and you've got good thoughts, which affect good feelings, good feelings, good behavior. And here's what happens. When you're feeling good, you treat people good. You treat people the way you feel about yourself. And when you feel good, you want to give that to other people. When you don't feel good, you don't treat other people good. You know, in the last session that I did, I had a young man yell out to somebody a word. I, I don't like this word. And please forgive me. He yelled out and said to somebody, he said, shut up. I, let me tell you why I don't like that word. And please forgive me, teachers and students. I don't like that word because words we use are negative. They don't only hurt someone else, they hurt us. And so I like to, I use positive words because positive words, positive thoughts. Positive thoughts, positive feelings. Positive feelings, positive actions. 
positive support for one another. But when you say negative words, I'll tell you what, you don't feel good yourself. Or you're trying to ignore how you feel and you want to try and control somebody else. I don't like bullies. I don't like mean people. You know what I need you to do? I need more kindness in the world. I need more people being positive and supportive of one another. And I need people that if somebody might not be as smart as you, hey, that's okay, because you know what? We learn differently, and it's okay to learn differently. And I want everyone to support everyone to show up and just do the best you can. That makes sense, right? All right, all right, all right. And so I want to share something. I'm noticing that when I'm pointing at you, I got three fingers pointing at me. Look at that. If I point at you, there's three fingers pointing back at me. All right, all right, all right. All right. That makes sense. So if we point at someone, we're talking to ourselves more. Makes sense, right? So I want to reiterate what I said. If you can hear my voice, if you can hear my voice, clap one time. If you can hear my voice, clap twice. Early on in the beginning, I talked about happy and sad, talked about thoughts and feelings. It's okay to not be okay. But then I said this, what are you going to do about it? Who, who said nothing? Yeah, there's too many of you. Who, who said nothing first? All right, all right, all right. Don't fight, don't fight. You open like that one. I like what he said. Let me tell you why I like what they said. I said, hey, it's okay to not be okay. But then I always say, what are you going to do about it? He said, no, oh, I think you're misunderstanding. Here you go, girl. Hey, brother, my last piece of candy. All right, let's talk about this. I want to make sure you understand. When I was growing up, like many young men, we're taught to be tough and be strong. And that you don't talk about feelings, because some people say that's a weakness. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you one of the greatest things I've ever learned to do is talk about my thoughts and feelings. And here's why. If you don't have the courage to talk about your thoughts and your feelings, it's going to stay inside. It's going to stay inside. And it's going to grow and grow. And at some point in your life, those thoughts and feelings that you hold in, it's going to show up. It's going to appear. And there's going to come a time where you're going to have to deal with it. So let me say this. If you don't learn to speak it out, you will act it out. And you're going to act it out in a negative way that will affect you and affect other people. And so I said this, I said, it's okay to not be okay. But I like to say, all right, what are you gonna do about it? And hold up, you can do one of two things. You can like say nothing, I don't, that's, that's not the right thing. Don't hold it in. I want you, I'm not feeling, you find someone mental hydration to talk to. Because if you're not doing okay, remember, there's a situation in the story that you're telling yourself, your thoughts need to change. And when your thoughts change, your feelings change, right? When your feelings change, your behavior changes. So every day, what helps that? Remember your purpose. You wake up, you get up, you dress up. And when you dress up, you look good. And when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good and you show up, you do good. And when you do good, you help other people do good. Imagine something. If you do that every single day, every single day, you walk into school with that, all right, all right, all right. When you walk out of school, you're like, all right, all right, all right. There's nothing you can't handle. 
You're smart. You're strong. You're capable. There ain't nothing you can't handle. You show up and do your best every day. When you're all right, all right, all right. And when you're not feeling good, you talk to somebody. That makes sense, right? And friends, look at friends. Let me, hands down, friends, I gotta say this. If someone comes to you and they tell you something that they might be feeling and you worry about them, what they're saying without saying it is to say, hey, I'm, I'm not doing good. I don't feel good. And you friends, make sure you listen good, please. I want you to tell them it's okay to talk to somebody. And if you're really concerned about that, as a friend, our responsibility is to be your friend. And being your friend means doing the right thing, right? I think we should always do the right thing. But I'll tell you what, doing the right thing sometimes goes against what makes you happy. That makes sense, makes sense right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have a responsibility to do the right thing all the time. And if somebody that you're concerned about, sometimes you need to go tell the teacher and say, hey, my friend isn't, isn't doing really good. Can, can, you, can you talk to them? Give me an all right, all right, all right. Now, when you guys walk out of here, Miss Jennifer, your principal, is going to let you leave in an orderly fashion. And before we do that, I just want one more all right, all right, all right. All right. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. It was a pleasure to talk to you.